welcome back to Natural Beauty with Melanie. Today I am here to do a quick review of the June 2021 Petty Vore Box. <clears throat> so let's get started. Um, when I unboxed this, I didn't realize that this first product um, had two different colors. Um, I had just looked at the boxes and there was two of them and I thought they were the same, but it turns out they were two different colors. Thanks Christy for telling me that. So. This first um, product is from K Voss. It's a shine on stick for $28 for these two. This creamy highlighter stick made with Kupachu, Kupachu, Kupachu <laughs> butter and wild flax creates a blendable and buildable iridescent glow that glides on easily. 2.7 milliliters times two. So I have, this one is metallic sunrise and this is what it looks like. Metallic Sunrise. And then the other one is called Sparkling Rose. Sparkling Rose. And this that's what that looks like. And let me just show you them side by side. One is more pinky and one is more peachy. So this is the rose. And this is the metallic sunrise. Hopefully you can see those clearly. I like these and I like playing with them. I haven't been using highlighter. Um, I don't really wear much makeup. I have basically, no, I have nothing on right now. I did put some lip gloss, which you probably can't even tell. But um, the thing with both of these, like if you saw me unbox it when I opened one, um, right when I opened it, the thing broke off. And I assumed that was just like a one time issue, but it's actually with the two that I have. So that makes me think it's an issue with the product. So that's definitely an issue. I mean, I've been able to like keep it in and use it where I, you know, choose to and stuff. And it's, it's nice, but I mean, I think that the packaging probably needs work or maybe I just got stuck with two, um, you know, busted ones, but whatever. So, um, let me just show you on my hand. We have, this is, um, <laughs> yeah, I guess that's kind of a problem if you're tipping it upside down. So let me hold it. All right. So we have metallic sunrise there and then I'll do sparkling rosé right next to it so this is metallic sunrise and that's sparkling rosé there you go that looks like a little bit better light so we have pinky and more orange so they're nice they're nice I mean again they fall right out so I don't know if that happened to other people maybe just me so I like playing with those they're fun um, the next product is something that I love. It is the Osmia Naked Body Oil. It's a $20 value, and it is comprised of 11 nourishing oils. This body oil naturally nourishes and heals, making it perfect for all skin types. Applied to clean and wet skin, 30 milliliters. So as you can see, I have used almost all of it. In fact, I was trying to not finish it until I did this video so I could at least show you like how it comes out and stuff. Um, but I have loved this body oil. It has a really subtle scent that I can't really just like a little fruity like a touch of a scent if anything but almost unscented I would be really surprised if this scent bothered anyone but perhaps it would but I think this is just great I have clearly loved using it in fact Osmia was having a sale recently and I bought a same size like another sample size of their sunset body oil that's a different scent so this is sort of like the naked unscented Sunset is a different scent because I loved their oil so much. So I'm excited to try another thing of theirs. And this is what the oil, you know, it's so low. I'm going to have to obviously take out the pump and like get the rest of it because I will be using every last drop. Don't mind the highlighter there. But anyways, it's just like, it's just a nice, really nice body oil. I felt that it um, absorbed in on the body great. I actually don't put it on wet skin. I, as well, although I know it's better for your skin to put it on wet, I like drying off first and then putting on my cream or my lotion, cream, lotion, oil, whatever I'm using to moisturize. Um, I tried it wet and it just, I don't know, it didn't like the way it felt sort of. But anyways, I just put on both hands and it's like all absorbed and it's just great. So I highly recommend this body oil. I haven't used a ton of body oils, so I don't have a lot to compare it to. But that being said, I think this is great. Um, if you remember, there was another body oil, a box or two back. It was the Ormus body oil. And it had just a very like medicinal herbal scent of whatever Ormus smells like. And this I think is like, that body oil was nice, but the scent was off-putting. This is nice and the scent is great. So I recommend it. 
Obviously it's pricey because this is worth $20. So just keep that in mind. Um, next up we have the Tyla Vayu Illuminating Toning Mist, which I did finish in full. It's a $10 value. It says this lightweight hydrating mist infuses skin with key actives to rebalance, soothe, and purify for an energized and illuminated complexion. And this is 10 milliliters. And um, this is what this little glass jar looks like. Um, and I really like this. So it has a smell of Telsey, which is synonymous with holy basil from what I was reading. And I really liked the smell of it. And it kind of reminds me of something like in life, in my past, but I don't know what, but I like it a lot. So as you can see, I used the entire thing. I mean, there wasn't a ton of it. It was only 10 milliliters and I used it. It became my daytime toner for, I guess the last month when I finished it. So it's really nice. I believe when I looked it up on Petty Vore recently for like two and a half ounces, it was about $55 if I'm, incorrect on that I'll put the correct statement there at the bottom but um it's that's pricey for um a toner so I don't know if I would repurchase but if price wasn't a factor based on the scent and everything I did really like this toner and clearly I finished it in full so I liked it a lot and lastly we have the juice beauty antioxidant serum for six dollars and it says proven to help reduce free radicals. This lightweight serum feeds your skin with vitamins and antioxidants with organic, from organic botanical juices and plant oils. 7.8 milliliters. This was like, a, like kind of a blah product to me. So this is what the thing looks like. And um, yeah, it has like CoQ10, fatty acid packed, black, bleh, fatty acid packed plant oils and smooths appearance of fine lines with alpha lipoic acid and CoQ10 daily use. I've been using it a little bit here and there, but it's funny, it's, I have like very little in here, which I guess is not a bad thing because I don't love it, but I was, I just put some on before this to like give it one more test and I'm like somehow, I guess there's just not a ton in here, which is fine. But I wouldn't repurchase this. Um, I got their like uh, anti-blemish serum in the last box, I think in May or s recently, and I wasn't like a big fan of that, and I'm not really a big fan of this. So, so far, I think I had that face mask by Juice Beauty that I liked, but I'm kind of, yeah, this was a meh product for me. Just like nothing to, I like, it just wasn't special at all to me. Like scent wise, it has really basically no scent, which, you know, some people like that. It's like a fine, but it just didn't do anything for me. So that's that. Um, yeah, I'm like all just natural today because we are having a central air issue. So our central air isn't working and it's like 90 degrees here today. So I've got the fan going up and I'm wearing like a gym shirt and a sports bra and stuff, just keeping it casual. But I just wanted to do this video to do the Petty Vore review before the months end. So thank you for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or found it helpful. And um, if you got this box, any of these products, let me know your thoughts on anything that I mentioned today or anything that you got in your box. I would love to have some dialogue with you. And um, click the subscribe button below if you would like to be alerted for when the next video comes out. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.